Hello and welcome to this Lightroom Creative Cloud group of videos. My name's Barry Beckham. I have recorded a comprehensive collection of around 60 videos to make it as easy as possible for you to learn the tools and techniques of Lightroom. This introduction video reflects the size and quality of all of the videos on our disk and also the download too. Lightroom Creative Cloud was born as an offspring of Photoshop, which is a mature image editing program that's been around for many years, which means that Lightroom is robust and packed with features. Lightroom is considered a complete photographer's package all in one program, and by complete I mean that it provides photographers with all of their needs and takes advantage of the fact that most serious photographers are working with raw images. Photography in the digital world has reached a point when there really only is one decision we need to make and that's to shoot raw images. Now Lightroom works in a way that uses that raw technology. It retains non-destructive editing for as long as we require it, certainly up to the point where we choose to export a copy of our image from Lightroom with all of our editing locked into it. And even then, the original can still be returned to its original state. Lightroom has three core functions. The first of those is to help us to create and maintain a catalogue of our images where we can both browse or search for them in a wide variety of ways and we're looking at the library module right now. The second core function is the develop module which I've got open here. That allows us to edit our images in their raw state and as I've said earlier it keeps that editing non-destructive all of the time. And thirdly, Lightroom helps us to export our images, either one, a few, or a whole batch of images in a wide variety of ways, and to export them to different locations on our computer via user-made presets. Presets that we can tailor to suit our own photographic needs, our projects and preferences, and we can use them over and over again. However, Lightroom works a little bit differently than most other image editing programs. If we want to edit an image in an image editor like Photoshop or Photoshop Elements, we simply go to File Open, locate the image and open it for editing. Once we've completed the editing, we must then save any changes we make or those changes would be lost. Lightroom doesn't work in this way. We cannot view, open or edit any images until they've been imported into our Lightroom catalog. This is the first of those three core functions of Lightroom. Import images into the library or catalog, then we move to edit the images and finally to export them to print, web or other projects. In these tutorials I have tried to keep our videos as focused as I possibly can, so you can easily locate the video that has the information you require. As usual, we offer lots of tips and tricks and suggestions along the way based on years of experience. Now when I say a focused approach, what I mean here is more videos but shorter videos. They're generally a lot shorter than the ones we've made in the past, but that makes it easier for you to find the information you want. And we've also arranged the videos in sections based on the three core functions of Lightroom. The library and catalogue, the image editing via the develop module, and the export module. Now we believe this will help you to access the information and retain that knowledge better. Our library module videos contain all you need to know to import and catalogue your images, then search for those you want in a variety of ways. The develop module, which I'm switching to now, 
contains videos on the tools and the techniques of Lightroom and image editing. We have set out our videos in logical order, so we advise you to start with the library module and work down the videos from there. Remember that with in-depth software such as Lightroom, there are many different ways to do much the same thing. So none of us will ever use all of the tools and options that this software offers. What tends to happen is that we settle on those that we feel most comfortable with and those that give us the results we're looking for. I have been making training videos for many years, but this set of videos has been one of the most in-depth sets I've ever made. Making the video shorter and more focused has been done to try to make the learning of this fascinating software as easy as possible. We hope you think so too.